What's up everyone and welcome to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. I've only done one other series on Dungeon Crawl and I kind of just stopped playing after that. Although I do find myself coming back to it every once in a while because it is a lot of fun. So we're back again. Um, <clears throat> now, one thing if you've never played Dungeon Crawl is it's a roguelike and it's not kind of... Yeah, it's kind of old school, you know. It's uh, It was created using... Well, I'm not going to go into all that. But basically, you'll see how it all works. But first, we have to select our species here. Now, species is kind of really what's going to direct your character and kind of how you're going to build it. Um, so I'm going to go with the Deep Elf. I want to do a Mage type character. I don't really do Mage that often. Deep Elves are great Mages. Um, so we're going to pick mage and now we have to select our background. The background really is just kind of your starting set. So what you start the game with, and then from there you can take it kind of whatever direction. Um, now I want to do normally I've done a fire elementalist in the past and fire elementalists are really strong because they have an ability that kind of blocks off enemies. Whereas the other ones, eh, they're, they're, they're a little bit harder to finagle. And one reason I don't play mage that much is because often I just die on like, I, I don't even make it like dungeon 10. I just die. They're so squishy um, unless I do fire on this, but I really want to do ice. So I'm going to do ice. So here we are. We're starting off as an ice elementalist. I'm going to go ahead and throw some, some Castlevania music up in the background just so it's not so boring. All right. So what do I start out with? Let's see. Uh, if I do shift I, it'll show me my current spells. So I just have freeze, uh, which has a very low range and very low power. Okay. Uh, so if I press M, it'll pull up my aptitudes here. So this is what you train to sort of make your character stronger. So spell casting is sort of just general, uh, general spell power. It also increases your mana pool, which I only have six over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off dodging right now. I'm gonna turn off stealth, although that could be nice. Um, I'm gonna turn on fighting, and I'm gonna prioritize ice magic. And we'll probably prioritize ice magic. I'm pressing G, by the way. I mean, you can see all the hotkeys down here, but. Yeah, I'm gonna prioritize ice magic to like five or six maybe, and then I'll take that off, and I'll probably turn on some dodging and things. But for now, this is what we're gonna train in the beginning. Um, I can learn these spells eventually. You, need, you have to level up before you can actually learn all this stuff, but it'll be nice. Okay, so let's find some monsters to kill. You can kind of see the graphics I was talking about there. Not the prettiest. Um, oh, you know what? I need to set up. Actually, it's fine. Freeze. I'm just one-shotting. Seems OP, right? But uh, it gets way harder. It's definitely not OP. And normally I like to auto explore, which you can do by pressing O. By the way, if you want to give the game a, a try, you can go to uh, dungeoncrawl.org. I think it's .org. And uh, it's completely free. You know, no issues there. And create an account, start playing. There's there's quite a bit to learn as far as hotkeys go. That's like the biggest challenge, I think. Um, there's a lot of hotkeys, but once you get like the main ones down, then you're kind of good to go. We got a jackal pack coming, so I'm gonna go into the choke point here and take them on one by one so I don't get my booty smashed by a bunch of wolves. Another bat reached level two. Can I learn another spell? I cannot. That's fine. We'll get more. I'm hyped, man. This music is getting me going. You know what I mean? Wink, wink. Nod, nod. Nudge, nudge. I'm joking it. Not, not really. Not really, guys. Don't. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. Alright, here we go. Smack. OP! See, this is this is what gets me killed, I think, is... You know, I should probably pick up a weapon. Even though I'm a spellcaster, there's a chance that my mana pool will run out. And... Uh, grab all that stuff. Can I throw stones? Oh, uh, okay, so I need to do a macro to throw some stones here. So throw is normally F, and then you can kind of target it. You can see here, but you can set up a macro by doing, what is it, Control D? Yeah, Control D, and then pressing M. So I put the trigger key, which I'm going to put a minus on the numpad here, and then I'm going to redefine it because I had it set to something else. So I'm going to say F and then period, and what that will do is just shoot at the nearest thing automatically. So I don't have to press two keys each time. Which is just nice. 
Oops. Oh, shoot. Right, what's going on? I'm out of stones. Okay. But why can't I throw? Alright, so we've got a s short sword here. So I'm going to go ahead and wear that. Uh, you can press W to pull up the wear menu for weapons. I'm going to I'll try to go through like the hotkeys, but there's like so many of them. Ooh. I shouldn't have done that. I should have pulled them back to the choke, but that's fine. You can also press C on corpses to chop them up and get some meat chunks uh, because you do get hungry and like spell casting, casting spells creates hunger as well. I don't think, yeah, you can see hunger right here. There's none on freeze, so I don't really have to worry about that at the moment, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the leather armor actually. Shift W will pull up the armor menu and then press D to drop stuff. <clears throat> Should I get the dagger over the sword? You know what, I'm fine with the sword. Uh, let's throw a stone, pull him back to the choke. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Freeze, fools freeze. What do we got here? nothing interesting um there's more stones yeah I'm, I'm a little worried that i'm gonna just like die on the second episode or something i guess i just always die with like blaster casters in the beginning i've only very rarely made it to like end game with the with a mage type caster very rarely which sucks because like i love like ice and things like in, in games Okay. You dumb bat. You ding bat. Get over here. There we go. Just waiting for you to mess up. Little rat. Okay. I mean, this is only dungeon one, so it's not like anything to really be scared of. Generally, there's not really too much trouble on one. Although, that being said, you can run into some nasty things. Uh, plus two helmet. Nice. So that'll give me like three AC or something. Um, so those are defensive stats up here. You've got AC, evasion, and shield. Shield obviously is zero because I don't have a shield on. Uh, so we're going to go all intelligence all the time. I think every three levels you can put a stat point in. And intelligence increases our spell power and, and things. Um, so my ice magic is five. Let's see what my abilities are actually. Hold on. Um, so I can learn Ozokubu's armor, which I'm really not fond of, to be honest. But at the same time, it's kind of all I have, so I'm gonna go for it. Um, I am gonna reassign it. So if I press equals, you can see I can adjust the hotkeys here. And if I press S, it'll let me bring up my spells. So I can reassign Ozukubu's armor to, oh, what should I put it on? Like F8? I use my I use F8 for my hotkeys. Um, so we'll put it on H. And I can press F8, and you can see my AC went up to 12, but it's only if I don't move. So I move and I lose that automatically. So that's what Ozukubu's armor does. Pretty good stuff for a mage. Um, are we clear? What's over here? Okay, yeah, we're clear. So if I hold Shift X, it'll go into explore mode, and then I can do Shift arrow key, uh, right arrow key, and it'll take me to a downstair. There we go. Dang, I am myrtleating these things. I'm just one shot and everything. This is why I die. This is why I die. I get too confident. I get too confident. By the way, you can kind of sneak up on things and stab them and just like one shot them. Um, I'll see if I can. Oh. Let me go ahead. These things hit pretty hard. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Ozukubu's armor. So I've got 12 AC here. And I'm just going to face tank this guy. He didn't end up hitting me, but if he had, it would have hurt. Well, probably not, because I had the armor bonus. Ooh, a sling. Okay, so adders, adders are kind of terrifying, um, mainly because they have high evasion and they poison. So I'm just gonna exclude that. By the way, I did that by hitting X 
which lets you go into like a version of explore mode, but it's kind of local explore. And then you select whatever it is and you hit E. And then whenever you auto explore, oops, press O to auto explore, it won't actually like reveal the Viper. So I'm just not ready to fight the Viper yet. I wonder if I can sneak up on this guy. Okay, so he, you can see the Z's he's sleeping, so I can boom, stab him, and it's supposed to do like a bunch of damage and kill him. One shot him, but you know. You know how it goes. Doesn't always work, I guess. Um, but stabbing, stabbing characters are actually pretty fun. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to, I think I'm gonna equip the sling. Slings are pretty freaking strong. So instead of this dagger, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reassign with equals the items. And I'm gonna say uh, F to be A and then equals L to be B. And I can just press apostrophe and it'll swap between them. You can see it swapping on my character. Now I can just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. See how OP these things are. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Ozakubu's armor because worms hurt. All right, should I go fight this adder? I'm, I'm freaking terrified of the adder. Now that being said, I do have, uh, there we go. I just stabbed the lizard while it was sleeping. Um, that being said, I do have the sling now, which I'm a little more confident now that I've got the sling. But this is how I die, man. This is how I die on mages. They just... They're so squishy. They're squish-tastical. Oh, man. Okay, that's actually kind of terrifying. You cast Ozakuba's armor. Wait, did... Okay, I was like, didn't the worm see me? Mm, bam. Got it. Now we'll just press 5 to rest. By the way, I'm moving around with numpad. You don't really use mouse too much in this game. Um, I mean, you can. You can, like, click to move around and stuff. All right, I think I'm going to fight the adder. Um, I'm a little bit scared, but... <sighs> Wait, what happened? Where'd the adder go? I thought that it didn't see me. You know, I want full mana when I... Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, Ozakubu's armor really isn't going to do much because what's going to kill me here is the poison, not the physical damage. So I'm not going to bother even wasting mana on Ozakubu's armor. I have no other abilities. Let's just hope I get some lucky shots here. All right. Okay, we didn't get poisoned. We, I know it, see, it was like anticlimactic, right? It was like, oh my god, this adder is so scary. And then I just like kill it with no issues, but... They're terrifying, man. Like, one hit can actually kill you. Especially on a squishy class. So shift X, shift right arrow to cycle through, and then shift right arrow to go down. One shot lizards and things. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Level four, all right, can I learn? I can learn Hellstorm. I've never actually used Hellstorm, um, but I'm definitely going to learn it. Let me say uh, Conjurations, let's turn, oh, I'm still prioritizing Ice Magic. So let's turn that off. Conjurations, uh, oh my gosh, I'm training so much it feels like. Just get, oops. If you press, okay, if you press equals and then the, the corresponding hotkey for the, the aptitude, you can set a target. So I'm gonna say, let's get like three. Um, and then once Conjurations hits three, it will turn off and no longer dump experience into that. So you don't have to constantly monitor things. It's kind of a nice little, nice little way to go about it. Uh, what god am I going? You know, I didn't really think about what god I was going. Maybe Dith. So there's also like a lot of. Uh, like gods and they have like a huge impact on how strong your character is so depending on what type of character you have it's gonna depend on what type of god you want to go but generally you can just kind of take anyone I like the first one you find and it's probably a good idea I never do them 
I kind of like to do specific builds. Like, I'll go through and kind of pre-plan it out before before I get into the game and have like a specific build in mind that I want to do, which I find to be more entertaining than just kind of winging it. We're only on dungeon three here. We've got two helmets so far. Um, now you don't always want to equip stuff right away because what can happen is it can be like cursed. Uh, it can be like a cursed item. I don't know, what the heck? Oh, this is a shapeshifter. It's locked in though, so it's not like it's dangerous. Uh, not worried about it. All right, smacking you guys up, man. Slings are broken. Slings are absolutely broken. You find an early sling, it's just like smack, smack, dead. Who needs to spend mana when you can sling rocks, right? Okay, that's... <laughs> Slinging rocks all day, every day. All jokes aside though, they're seriously, they're seriously broken. Okay, these dart slugs are actually kind of scary. There we go. I wanted it to get close. They shoot darts, which makes sense because the name is dart slug, but <laughs> I like how I explain that. Like, well, it's a dart slug. It, it shoots darts. Like people need an explanation. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's just, let's just keep going. All right, this one's done. One thing I've forgot to do is actually search the floor because a lot of times you can miss stuff. So if you, hold con if you press control F and then period, it'll show you everything dropped on the floor. So you can make sure that you don't miss anything. And yeah, I'm not sure which God I'm gonna go. There's kind of obvious like blaster caster gods that just increase your spell power and whatnot, which is probably a pretty good idea. I think Vehumet, Vehumet, ooh, there's the altar. So I can actually pick my my god right now. Uh, now altars aren't guaranteed to have every god, but for the most part they have pretty much everything. So this is, ooh, that's the storm one. That's the storm one. So this guy makes you immune to storms and you're surrounded by a storm, yeah. Uh, I am I'm not gonna go for the storm dude though. I'm not gonna go through all the gods. You can you can look them up on the wiki if you're curious. This is Rue, isn't it? Yeah, we're not going on the Rue. So this Machleb. I don't want Machleb. I don't want Hepakana. Although that could be fine. Who is this? Oh yeah, this is this is the card one. I don't know all of them like in depth. I know that the one I was thinking of going is not here. So I may hold out. Yeah, oh wait, who's this? Ah, here it is. Okay, so if I was gonna say, I'll either do Vehumet or Dith. You can memorize some of Vehumet's spells. You can gain magical power from killing. So I think it was, <clears throat> you just gave magic back. Vehumet aids your destructive spells. I'm not sure exactly what that does and extends the range. So this is kind of just your standard blaster caster god. So I'm just gonna go with this. Uh, I'm just gonna make it simple and not try and make like a complicated build. It's one thing I didn't do for the blaster caster because there were a couple different options. I didn't really plan which god I wanted to go. Um, so the way the gods, were, ooh, this is kind of scary. Did I actually learn Hellstorm? I did, but it's 50%. So I can't, I can't, I can't cast it. Oh man, this is scary. Oh, I'm so freaking terrified right now. I should have read scrolls. I don't know how fast this thing is. Okay, we got it. And we reached level five, that's nice. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, I have a lot of scrolls, so I'm gonna come up to the stairs and I'm gonna press R and start reading these. Scroll of Amnesia. Uh, no, I don't wanna forget any spells. So let's start reading some other stuff. Scroll of Identify, nice. So I can actually identify some potions. 
You don't really want to blind quaff the potions because there's some bad ones. Um, but yeah, you can like you can read unidentified stuff and it will identify them. I, I do have another identify though, so let's just identify more potions. Curing, okay, curing is good early because that can remove poison. So adders are now less scary. Generally, anything that can poison is less scary at this point. Uh, you know what? Before I do this, I'm going to put on the ruined spear. Plus two spear piercing. Okay. I think that's going to be better than the dagger. I'm also going to put on the helmet. Reason being... Ooh, a helmet of intelligence. No way. Bro. Bro. That's like... That's beautiful. I'm also going to put on this ring. And a ring of wizardry. Oh my gosh. So ring of wizardry helps your failure chance. You can see my hellstorm 16%. It was 50% prior to the ring. So this is now like almost castable. That's amazing. So this is a really good start. Um, one thing I'm gonna do is change short sword. There we go. So now I equip the spear and the sling instead of the short sword. And I'm just gonna drop the short sword. Plus two spear piercings better than short sword. The spear also has a little bit of range so I can hit things one tile away, which is nice. Uh, I... <clears throat> Ow. Should I try and smack it? Okay. Smacking it is a bad idea. I, am I gonna die? I cannot hit this thing. Hold on, what's my abilities? Should I try to Hellstorm? 16% chance failure. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh! That's not the button I wanted to press. Oh, that's right, Hellstorm. Okay. Thank goodness, man. That was freaking terrifying. What in the world? Freaking bullfrog, man. All right. Oh, that's a sling bullet. I definitely. Okay, so let's try Hellstorm. Oh, it's not quite within range. Oh! That was nasty! You see that shit? Oh! <laughs> Damn! I guess the downside is they can't be right next to me when I cast it, so that's why it's so strong. Beefy, dude. I probably don't want to use that on single targets, though. Uh, but I have... All I have is Ice Beast left. I really don't want Ice Beast. I, I I don't want a level summoning, although there is a Servitor, which there's a summoning spell called a Servitor, which will actually cast your spells. Um, so maybe I do want a level summoning. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. We had some potions. I think if you buy unidentified potions, it will actually identify them for you. So that might be worth doing. Although, I, mean, I don't have much gold. Let me buy the scroll and the potion. Let's just do it, why not? I guess I didn't identify him. Hmm. And I forgot to read my other scrolls as well. Bam. Fighting skill increased too. So fighting increases like damage unarmed damage I think and it may increase will to damage too the main thing with fighting is that it gives you health it increases your, your HP pool another one AC from that cloak it's good bye bye oh my gosh that's like devastating holy crap that's a huge AoE too Oh wait, did it actually not get hit because it was over a wall? I might have to watch out for that. Again, we're just going all ints here. Um, done exploring. Control F, period. Search the floor, make sure I didn't miss anything. Looks like we're good. Go down to the next one. And I think that's a good place to end this episode. Uh, Dungeon 5, not too bad, not too bad. Um, I might start playing things a little bit safer from here on out. 
but I don't know. That, that depends on how strong I feel, what items I find and whatnot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Hope you guys all had a happy new year and uh, made some great resolutions and whatnot. Oh, no, no, no.